हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन कम्युनिकेट फ्रॉम वन पोर्टलेट टू अनदर पोर्टलेट इन लाइफ विथ सेवन सो दिस फीचर इज कॉल्ड इंटर पोर्टलेट कम्युनिकेशन सो आई ऑलरेडी राइट अ ब्लॉग रिगार्डिंग दिस बट इट इज फॉर लाइफ रे 6.2 सो वी डू द सेम थिंग बाय यूजिंग लाइफ रे सेवन सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर बट हेयर वी यूज एग्जाम बट इन लाइफ रे सेवन वी यूज annotations and the events are like this kind of thing queue name and all are same as in life ray 6.2 this process event method are exactly similar so let's start this in life ray 7 so i create a producer which can produce a message and a consumer which can display the message so first we create a producer so right click new create mvc portlet and click on finish so this is our portlet and this is view.jsp so i create a simple form so i create a simple form with a simple text box and a submit button so we need to create a action url here so i create action url now i pass this in our method one more thing we need to use portlet name spaces so that's it from our producer jsp so now we create a method with the same name so i'll just create a method so i create a method with the name producer and annotate this with import the things now by using parameter we can get this so this is a simple mvc portlet now we need to convert this in a producer so that we can publish this event so for this we need to use a property here so like comma and so here we use a property supported publishing event and use a key and a url so by combination of these it is unique so let's create this event so in consumer we also use the same key for receiving the event so import this from this so now the response dot set event so this is q name 
and our message which we receive from JSP. So this is our producer. So we use the URL here and the key here. So now we need to create a consumer. Now our so in producer we use publishing event in consumer we use processing event so so here we use support processing event tag and use the same key and URL as we use in producer. So now we need to create a method which can take the event. So we create a method consume event which take two arguments event request and event response and annotate this with process event and use the URL and the key. So now we need to receive the event. So for this we create a event object. And then get the value type cut this and now finally we can use this value so I like to display this on my GSP so I put in this attribute and now our consumer is ready just one last thing in the JSP of consumer I like to use this So that's it. So let's deploy the both producer and consumer. So let's create a category IBC so that we can find this. So now both producer and consumer are available in category IBC. So deploy this. So producer is built successfully and is started and now deploy the consumer. So our consumer is also started. So both are started. So let's add both on this our page. So first refresh 
click on this add and this is IPC and this is our producer and this is our consumer so both are added just move this so now our producer and consumer are ready so initially it's blank so let's print something and click on submit and look the live phase message is consumed by the consumer so this portlet can communicate with this portlet by using event and this process is called inter portlet communication in live phase so like use some other thing like and look so now for a recap in producer we create a simple form with a text message and use this syntax publishing event and use the url and by using this url and key we create a queue name and set this in a event similarly in consumer we use processing event with the same key and url and create a method process event with the url and the key and finally create the event object get the object and put in our attribute so that we can display in this display in this jsp so this is inter portlet communication in like free 7 or like free txp so if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching